Thank you for stopping by my channel. Tonight I wanted to do a video on the Antidiluvian Society and the resurrection of those individuals, perhaps, or not. If any of this is all true, and if the Bible is the Word of God, and all those things did take place, just saying, even if they did, how do we know about those individuals from a standpoint, the organization, uh, the prior religion that I was in told its members that they're not going to be resurrected, those individuals. Was there any proof for that? Was there any scriptural proof of individuals who uh, died at the flood? They won't be brought back. Is there any proof that any proof of that? The organization likes to insert the word destroyed. And, and the Bible does too. The Bible says that he's going to start over. He felt bad or God felt uh, regret in his heart. And he planned on bringing uh, them to ruin. And, you know, individuals are going to be resurrected, right? I mean, if there's going to be a resurrection, the Bible, of course, is going to have that narrative uh, of a resurrection, of course. Um, but is there really any evidence for, because a person really doesn't know. I remember my overseer, my Bible study conductor, I asked him about, is there going to be a resurrection of those that died in the flood? And he, he goes, what uh, the correct response was, he doesn't know. And certainly that's the best response, but it all goes back to uh, fear-mongering a little bit. It certainly does. Oh, they're, they're not going to be resurrected because the way it's written, uh, it, it doesn't even give any clues to if they're going to be resurrected. Just like Now, just like Solomon, individuals would say, well, he's not going to be resurrected. Or some individuals say he will be resurrected and all that. So no one knows. And just when it comes to Armageddon, uh, Armageddon, people that don't make Armageddon will be resurrected. Or, you know, is any evidence to this? Is there any scriptural evidence that, hey, you know, um, like the organization of uh, the JW organization talks about, well, certain times and there's not, it doesn't indicate that all God's judgments, they'll be not resurrected. So why is this idea of individuals that in the anti-deluvian society that drowned, they, they won't be resurrected, but those who died before the flood will be resurrected. And just because they were alive at the, at the wrong time or judgment, they won't be resurrected. And again, there's no evidence for this. There's no evidence for the whole thing. I mean, it, it just, all it is is faith. And even even if you would take the the flood story as fa on face value, you still can't explain. Uh, you just don't know. A person doesn't know if they're gonna, there's not they're not going to be resurrected. It just it doesn't indicate. And someone can make arguments, and but again, there's there's just no way of knowing it. But I just kind of curious. What well, maybe if you watch this video and tell me what you think. And, uh, yeah, because it's a very interesting topic. I, I've, I've kind of always thought about it. You know, these individuals, they're, I mean, they're imperfect. You know, they were normal people given in marriage and or they're married. Like it's, like it says in the scriptures, they married, they, were, you know, were normal people, you know. I can't imagine living that long, though, living centuries upon centuries upon centuries knowing that I don't know that's even that's true that's another story for another time but anyway I just want to stick to this uh well those in Noah's day be resurrected okay thank you have a nice day